Today, more than a thousand troops and their families from 2nd Battalion, the Mersin Regiment, attended the memorial service at Westminster Abbey. They were remembering those who died or who were seriously wounded during their recent tour in Helmand Province. It's the first time a memorial service of this type has been authorised in the Abbey and it's because the Mercians are currently performing London duties and based in Harlow. It's a long way from the ferocious heat and dust and daily combat with the Taliban in Helmand's notorious green zone to the steps of Britain's grandest place of worship. The 2nd Battalion, the Mercian Regiment, saw some of the toughest close-quarter fighting in recent years during its tour in southern Afghanistan. Nine men died and 20 more were seriously injured. It seems a fitting tribute that Westminster Abbey, scene of some of the greatest national and state services, should hold a memorial service for the men who laid down their lives for their country and thanksgiving for those who returned. The service was originally to be held at the Guards Chapel at Wellington Barracks, but it became clear that the numbers attending would be too great. It seemed to me that it was an opportunity for us to honour the work which they had done, and including the remembrance of, of nine people who had been killed there, and also to say nationally and uh, to them how much we as civilians take pride in the work which the armed forces do on our behalf. The dead were represented by nine lighted candles and remembered by their family and their friends. Private Craig Brailsford, Sergeant Craig Brailsford, uh, he's 25. I just uh, feel sorry for him and his family, and him especially, because it's, uh, it's a bit young to die, and he's got a lot to live for, a lot of life to live for, and uh, it's been taken away from him, so it is pretty bad. There were certain points where you could just, um, you could just feel how emotional everyone was, and the choice of songs were right, the the choir was right, and when they um, just, they um, showed memorial to all nine people that died, it just then sent a tingle up your spine, really. I don't think I could be any prouder of my dad, really. But I always find little bits more that you can be proud of, because he's getting Westminster Abbey as a tribute and send-offs and everything like that. It just shows how big of a person he was. Father of all we give thanks for the minds of those who have died in the service of the nation for their courage. Westminster Abbey is a church dedicated to regular worship and the momentous events in the life of the nation. An appropriate place to remember and give thanks to those who serve their country. And it is appreciated by all those who returned, including the wounded. Fantastic. A really, really honourable day. I knew it would be good. But I uh, put my wife in, we did not expect it to be this good. I think the turnout and the crowd, absolutely fantastic. Uh, we were lucky enough to do freedom marches through our principal cities last week in Nottingham, Derby and Worcester. Uh, but this really has been the capstone of it. Uh, and this really was the commemoration of our dead uh, rather than the thanksgiving for our return. Unique though this memorial service is for Westminster Abbey, the church has long been the focus for a nation's grief and its gratitude. Katie Roy, BFBS Reports, London.